my honest thoughts on deep dish pizza, I feel like there's a lot of deep dish pizza that's pretty gnarly, but I like it when it's like the outside's kind of crisp and crunchy. There's like a little bit of cheese and like a bunch of really good tomato sauce where you feel like you're more eating like a tomato sauce pie. Today we're in Chicago, Illinois. We're outside of Pequod's Pizza, home of some of the deepest dish pizza in Chicago. And today I'm gonna work and see if I can keep up. I've never tried to make deep dish before, but the dude I'm working with seems like an expert and I'm excited to just like suck as much knowledge from his brain as I can. Hey, Sean. Hey, nice to Cody. meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you, thanks right. for having me. You ready? Yes, absolutely. Right, let's, let's go. go. Cool. How would you describe Pequod's and what sets it apart from other pizza places all over? We're viewed as a mom and pa shop, but really we're not anymore. We're a big place. <laughs> like. I see 215 people and we're gonna pump out somewhere between 700 and 1,000 pizzas. In a day? Oh yeah. Holy moly, yeah, it's, that's it's crazy. Non, it's gonna be nonstop through. What so. about like, like pizza wise, like what sets apart? We put the cheese up on the sides of the pan. So what that does is there's a certain amount of sugar, mozzarella cheese that's in there. It caramelizes and it looks like I burned your pizza when you get it out that's of the awesome. pan. That's <laughs> awesome. So you look at the bottom. Yep, oh, you're right, it is golden brown. Yes, it is. It's just on the sides. It's just on the sides. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. So cool. it, feel free to push me around, tell me what's like, you know, if I'm not going fast enough, sure. you can, you know, yeah. you can give me a little kick in the tush. I'll let you have some rope, let you hang yourself a little bit. For some reason that, made me nervous. <laughs> it does, it, uh, it does. All right, we are ready to go. Here's your uniform. Sweet. Wash them down the hallway. Cool. Change shirts, and then I'll meet you in a minute. Someone order a pizza? That's it. <laughs> All right, buddy, you ready to roll? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, so first things first, we gotta make dough. It's so, a yeast dough? Yeast and water dough. Cool. We're gonna go four liters plus the one and a half, so okay. five and a half liter Beautiful. mixture. So we gotta make sure the water's between our 95 and 105. Now we're Sweet. gonna get our yeast. So one and a half, you said? One and a half, yep. Beautiful. If the water's too cold, it won't activate the yeast. Uh -huh. If the water's too hot, it won't activate the yeast, which right. will in turn shock the yeast. So we're gonna toss it in slowly and then whisk it up as you go cool. in. If we activate the yeast correctly, then it tastes better, rises better, and overall it makes for a better product for us. So oil, we're gonna dump this in here. All right. Then okay. we're going to do a uh, salt and pepper mixture, okay? Spewing. So we've got about two more minutes on the yeast water. We're gonna make anywhere between 18 and 30 batches of dough a day. So, this so we're goes gonna in? give that a stir real quick. Sweet. So here's our semi-frothy yeast and water mixture here. The bowl we're gonna go straight into the bowl, then All you're right. gonna give it a good whisk. All right, here we go. Then we're gonna add in the flour. So the whole bag? Yep. So far I'd say this is the most difficult thing. We want to get it to where it just starts to congeal all the little yeast packets. The flour balls are distributed evenly so that it comes out as a nice, soft bowl. We don't want to over mix it because we don't want to beat it up. You know, at, it's interesting. I wonder what the difference is because at my work, we'll let it go for like 20 or 30 minutes just mixing it up. Maybe because you're doing the thinner thinner pizzas, you yeah. want a crispier, crackery crust. Yeah, maybe. And you want to flatten it out. Cool. And we're trying to get the opposite. Right. We don't want to continually beat the dough right, up. Right, right, you're right. beating the dough up on purpose. Yeah. That might be not getting that the big fluffy. Eyes. Yeah. Cool. We're going to take off the hook, set that off to the side. We're going to pop that out. Okay. Lift up on that Sweet. side for me. Then we're, we're just, just going to flip this it in line. there. Cool. Okay. Nice. There you go. All right, perfect. We're gonna take a little bag, throw it over the top. That'll cool. keep some of the moisture and the as the gas escapes from the yeast, that'll help it rise up a little nicer. Oh, nice. And cool. that will give us a nice fluffy product. We're in our dough station now, so we're gonna lay out pizzas. The easiest way to describe it is you're just gonna like fold that? it over and you're tucking it in on itself. Okay. So, so I always tell all the bread here, and I usually get in trouble, you're making it into a breast. A breast. That's it. All right. You're making you it. You said it, not me. That's it. Is that right? That is you want awesome. This all closed? No, cool. that is Beautiful. perfect. We're going to lay it out into large pans. So okay. These already, are greased. They're already greased on the sides there. So I'm just going to put so this bastard right put here. Put that right there. So when you cool. set it in the pan, you're going to just sort of Rub it around. move the dough a little bit since we have so many pizzas. Right. We're going to oil out a bunch of pizzas. We're going to stack them all up. Uh -huh. So the oil's going to run in here. We never wash the pans. They're okay. scraped, they're clean water ruins them. So easiest thing to do is use your hands because uh -huh. you want to use them. Flatten it out. Good. See this here? Yep. Similar when we get to the sauce, what we're going to do is you're going to create a bowl of sauce in the middle okay. and you're going to spread it to the edge. The same concept with the dough. Okay. You're taking this little section here and I'm moving it to the edge. 
Oh, okay. Okay, cool. And that's what I need to that know. Makes sense. Absolutely. Uh -huh. So now 100%. you're just flattening it to the edge and you want to use more of your fingertips. fingertips. This is like it's a it's an unfamiliar motion. Yeah. But I don't understand how it's possible to not get oil on it you when there's so much oil. <laughs> you can't get no oil on it, but you can minimize right. the oil. Okay. And that's kind of what I want. Okay. Because we don't want it to be overly saturated. I feel nervous because I feel like I can hear your thoughts in your head right now. And they don't sound super good. Yeah, it's like anything else. Sort of like teaching a kid to drive. Thank you. Nice. What's the rating? That works. I like it. 80%. 80%? That's a B minus. I'm gonna make some sauce. Sauce time, okay. So, uh, I've got one of these that works. Okay. Yours is like a lot more like slick than ours is. This is just a one small batch, so, just so you can get a feel for how we make the sauce. How big when of a batch are you normally doing? It, so like on a weekend day, I'm gonna open up 144 cans. Oh, can do that, and that'll get me through the day. Beautiful. We want a little bit thicker sauce. Uh -huh. So we, why is that? If it's too thin, it gets a little runny. And with the amount of heat that's coming off of the ovens, my boss likes a sweeter sauce. Okay. So we want it heavier, flavored with basil. So a nice, fat two ounce cup of dry basil per okay. can. And then Beautiful. you're gonna get your Julia Childs on Blah! after that <laughs> and get a nice pinch of fresh basil. There you go, not all so right. bad. Why do you do it in the cans as opposed to like all the tomato in, all the like the fresh, all the dry? Two reasons. One, it's easier for me to monitor. Okay. So as I'm walking around. It's like visual, it's like. Well, I can walk around, make a list, I can tell. Plus I can see if the guy's doing it correctly. So yeah. if I dump it all in the bowl first, then I gotta stand there and have him count. Now if you're, Say you throw in 13 cans of sauce in there, you're doing yeah. 13 can 13. It's easy to forget cup. when you're doing a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna dump one, and since I don't want to get filthy, I'm gonna have you dump the rest in okay, there. Okay, cool. So just dump them all in. Peace. Pretty satisfying. Scoop it out. All right. That's nice and easy. I'll be right back. Oh yeah. Scoop and slop, I was born to do this. Uh, we're gonna put a label on it and I'll throw it in the cooler. Now we're gonna make a bunch of ranch. ranch cool. So we're gonna cool. grab two cases of mayonnaise and we're gonna dump it on in with the buttermilk. Cool. You know it's mayonnaise when it jiggles? We tweak it just a little bit by the ratios and the portions. So I can't divulge that because that's kind of what makes our ranch taste so darn good. And yeah, I'm having the same problem you are as I can't get this thing off of here. You're a lot younger uh, than I am. Yeah, I'm, an, right. I'm an old codger. <laughs> this, this is literally impossible. Oh, it's not gonna happen. Something tells oh, me I'm gonna be wearing many. All right, so we're gonna fix that in a second. Wait, so. I can't give up actually. This is gonna piss me off. It's just like it's too big for a normal hand, <laughs> I would say, is the problem. It's one of the problems. Oh, piece of crap. Show you his boss. See? Yeah, there, you there go. it is. Don't ever talk to me like that again. All right. So, and this is fairly self-explanatory. Oh yeah. Dump, familiar scrape, with this. <laughs> dump, scrape. <laughs> How much ranch are people guzzling here? We're gonna make this particular thing that we're doing here with the eight gallons of mayonnaise three times a week. Friday, Saturday, roughly, we're gonna do about you know, almost a thousand cups of ranch. Holy crap. We're gonna Bunch of ranch freaks in Chicago. They are ranch freaks in Chicago and my ranch is really good. It is a thicker and tastier, more tangy, a little spicier ranch. I will be honest, I'm sweating. Yes. We're gonna add all the buttermilk in there. I think one thing I learned in restaurants is trying to focus on doing one activity over and over again, right? Like yes. instead of opening, pouring, opening, pouring, you yes. kind of just like knock yeah, like task. And then the secret ingredient. This is the good stuff? That's the good stuff. This is what makes the world go round. Is it time to mix? It's time to mix. Let's do it. <laughs> Probably the most ranch I've ever been around. Moment of truth. De young. Not so bad. I could just want like a bunch of chicken fingers. <laughs> Second rise is complete. We're gonna start assembling some pizzas now. Sweet. So nice little order there. All right, nice. perfect. So Small, all let's cheese, grab, extra cheese Cody, why don't you grab me two little personals? Two little personals? Yep, so cheese-wise, like a deck of cards. Awesome. So you're gonna go long ways. Overlap. Overlap it just a little bit, and you want the cheese to go right up to the edge. We cover. Lovely, you're so fast. You're a blackjack player? Uh, no, I, I like to keep my money. <laughs> 
So this is kind of the trademark here, right? It's like the cheese the cheese burns up out on the side. the side of the pan. Yeah. So the sauce for us is each piece is gonna get a big ass like layer. A, eh, it's not a big ass layer. So this one here, the medium is gonna get just shy of a full ladle. Okay. And the personals will get a little like a medium dollop. So you should look at it and you should not be able to tell if it's light, extra, or medium. Looks right in the middle. I'm gonna drag, spread, drag, spread, drag, spread. And why this, oh wow, oh yeah. Oh, go get it. Okay. Come on, mister. Look at that, that was cool. Okay, so you're taking literally only using the bottom third of this ladle. Yep. Like this? Nope, or whatever. So why this instead of just like the, you know, little circle style? Okay. What's gonna cook better? Well, yeah, probably this one, huh? Yeah. Okay. This one here is extra cheese and pepperoni. Great. So I'm gonna so give you that one. Beautiful. So the pepperoni's pretty simple. Yeah. Cover the pizza. Cover it. One single layer and cover the pizza. Well, those ones we take them out, I use the poker reference again, sort of like poker chips. Okay. I will usually build down the middle. Oh, okay. And if they get two on there and it overlaps a little bit, it's fine. All right. This was one of those ones where I was telling you quantity over quality. We're gonna season the pizza okay. with a little Romano. Okay. So if you shake that on the side like this, like a, like a wheel. Okay. You create airflow, and it comes out faster. And another shake of oregano, cool. sort of ties and blends the flavors together. Love that. That looks great. Wonderful. Do I pass throw it the this ticket way? on there. Tickets there. And that goes in the oven. Thank you. All right. He'll throw that in. He's gonna time it about 18 minutes or so, and then we're good to go. Now, sausage is a little bit it can be a little tricky for everybody to learn. The object of this is to make it into a patty. Yeah. You got to get this off of here uh -huh. onto your pizza about as thick as my pinky. Can you slow that down? Nope. <laughs> no. Okay, so what you want to do, and I'm pinching it off, and then I'm flicking it down. Yeah, it is a weird motion for sure. It is. It's one of those ones where it's like, this makes zero sense. Just it like when you yeah. started making the dough balls. Right. So a ticket came in. Yes. I'm going to make this ticket. It's a medium pie. We got a sauced and cheesed one here already. So half of this is gonna get pepperoni. Yep. And then yeah. we're gonna check your visual skills in a second here. Oh shit. Don't that. do it, don't do it. I have to. No. We gotta make sure before we build it correctly. Yeah, you're right, you're right. The pepperoni is actually incredibly frustrating. Wait like, like, till I, the summertime and it's 103 so plus in here and it's like, I yeah. feel like I need to detach from the feeling of wanting to get them all separate and just I kinda know. go for it. Slide Gorgeous. it on down. Cool. And do green peppers first and spread it out. That's perfect. Then onions. onions, perfect. And then you'll do the sausage and then I will finish it up with oregano and cheese. All cheese, pepperoni. And mushroom. And mushroom, cool. Hot Okay, right, cool. Here, fine, take your beautiful. time. If it goes in beautiful, it comes out beautiful. That's if nice. it goes in like that. shit, it's gonna come out like shit. Right. Yeah, we just want to make sure that we build it better in here because this is also building that caramelized edge, which right. we need to have solid. This part is surprisingly hard for me. I it takes a it little time. Yeah. Big ladle on all these three. Oh, splash. That's okay. Well, it's got to go up higher. We okay. want to get the cheese all the way up. Good You'll actually. drag, slide, drag, slide. Yep, that's it. Nice. There you go. Are you proud? Yes, very. Yay. I'm surprised. That takes a lot of people a long time. I feel okay. That looks great. Woo! Awesome. I started saying woo more often recently. <laughs> I was doing yay <laughs> oh, for yeah, a while. Yeah. This one is going to be our pepperoni mushroom pizza. All right. And then ticket. Cool. Ticket. And yep. then window. Cool. Thank you. Beautiful. And then we're good to go. Good okay. job. That was awesome. I was, I'm impressed. I, was, uh, I just got a little bit of sauce on me too. How did I even get in there? That's a secret place. <laughs> few have, few have traveled. So we've already built some pies. Obviously these aren't the ones we made, but we're gonna get these out. Oh, yeah. They're in there probably almost 20-ish minutes or so. So object is to grab them with your gripper on your left hand. Right, okay. And you're gonna see there's a little bit of an edge here. Yeah. So I want you to get started on the edge. This is one of the harder parts. That, so you're basically trimming yeah. the caramelized cheese off the edge. Edging the pan basically. Just edging. Edging. So then you're going to cut that one for here. So I'm gonna do this one, you're gonna do that one. All right. So then you're gonna take this here, you're gonna lock it in place, uh -huh. and you're gonna start on the top middle. You're gonna cut this in eight, so okay. four. So you're gonna cut it, you're gonna throw it in there, and then give it a little twist there to make sure that that is good for the servers so yeah. that they can get it out of the pan. Okay, then and then you're going gonna down. Start when I cut pizzas at work, it's like with a little, with your normal like pizza cutter rolly tolly thing, there's no, uh, this is definitely weird, but I like it. 
It's the I think the the most confusing part is the left hand, like the clumpers. That clumpers takes the most natural. amount of time to yeah. get the dexterity and the rhythm on that. I feel like a monster. All right, oh, and then we do there. the fun part. Doing. Hit the bell. Get this shit out of my way. Get the get the exactly. Out of here. Order up. Come on. All right. That's the vibe or not? That's it. Really. Cool. Yeah, except they'll be quite perturbed. They come yeah, back that makes do sense. That, sorry, 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 sorry. That's fucked up. And so the object is, we're gonna open the door. Uh -huh. We're gonna take out that pan pizza. We want to get it out and on the table. Uh -huh. Then we're gonna edge it. Then we're gonna flip our spatula over. Let's open it up. up Let's top. see where you're at. Right, so cool. grab the two little personals first. Little boys. These are a little more tricky. All right. you gotta edge it. They take a little bit more practice. And I think you're destroying this uh, customer. I know. Fuck. Sorry. Oh, I, f I feel it. I feel it. It's mine. It's mine. Got yes. It. All right. Get in there. Cool. And this is gonna be oh, cut into six, so we'll straighten that out. Cool. Is there okay. any strategy here? There is. So you want to cut through and down in a sort of a swift kicking motion, but be careful because we don't want to cut ourselves with a knife or burn. There you Ooh, go. Not quite in half, but what are you gonna okay. do? So now that one's okay, but as you can see here, the reason it fell apart, uh -huh. too slow. Oh, you do? Okay. Got you gotta, it. If you go through it, you will have less of that. So just I'm like, gonna go like through, oh shit. And then through. Yeah. F her. That's okay. Bastard. That was pretty good though. All right. All right. Then we'll tidy it up a little bit. Beautiful. We're gonna give the customers all those oh, yeah, lovely the sausage Come and goo. Come on, baby. All right. And this goes down. Reflective side down. Beautiful. Tuck that on the front. Tuck that on the back, so that it stays nice and hot for the customer when they get it, as long as possible. And then then it goes on top of the oven. Cool. Hit the bell. For it. And you are good. Cool. And then we give this man a job. How do you think that I did? Honestly. I wish all of them did this well. That's really, yes. <laughs> oh, but it's also so kind bad. of a bittersweet because there's I'm, no chance you're gonna work for me, so. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. But. It was very exciting. Yes. Like at first I was like a little hesitant, but then yeah. like once we were actually like diving you into the pizza in, pies and we were like taking a, them out and crusting them off and it was, it was a blast. Do you think that you would hypothetically hire me for this job? Hypothetically, no. I would actually hire you oh, if you wanted to work for me. Oh, yay, yes. there we go. Yes. That's amazing. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Anytime. Yeah. So I know you have your way of doing a, yeah. a thin crust, but maybe we can do it the way that I was, I learned sure. how to do it, just to show. Yeah. So you can do it with me. So this was the Italian restaurant, the, and I'm not gonna ruin anybody's day by trying to sing, so. Why not, come on. No way. That's exactly right, I need the uh, checkered shirt. Uh, 